All I know is there is no way. And I said, no way when I saw this trailer. No way we in Africa. No way. No way. <laughs> It's your girl Angie from Brooklyn, New York. And um, if you're new, welcome. If you are an OG subby, welcome back. And an OG subby could be even watching two videos, but you're OG because you saw more than one. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not a subby, but subscribe. <laughs> As you can read from the title, we will be talking about the Prince of Egypt. And. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but if you had a musical childhood, then you would have seen The Prince of Egypt, and it was one of those shows that literally filled me with joy, and it was one of those like old school religious movies of the storytelling of Moses. And let me tell you, these songs were the one of the best songs or most nostalgic songs in my childhood that I even got the little songbook. When I was at Sunday school, I got like a little um, gift from somebody and it was the Prince of Egypt songbook. And I don't know how somebody knew, maybe they were just giving it all to the kids. But for me, I was like, oh my gosh, here's the words. Let me look into this. Like now we have the internet, so it's like, oh, whatever. But y'all remember the Prince of Egypt when his mom was like, Sleep and remember thy last lullaby. So I'll be with you when you dream. That was supposed to be the wind blowing in my face. Like, and my favorite of the Prince of Egypt songs was the duet between the Pharaoh and Moses. It was like, you can understand the betrayal on both sides. And Moses is like, listen, bro, let my people go. And then the Pharaoh is like, okay, but you know... We gave you all these things and I want to hold these slaves. And why are you opposing me? We were brothers and my mom brought you in, bro. She brought you in. So I was very excited to see that the Prince of Egypt would be on the West End. Now the West End is basically the Broadway equivalent to um, in England. So I was so excited to see it. I watched the trailer and I was, I was, sh I was shocked. I was shocked. So let me show you a little clip of the trailer. You know, um, I don't want to get copyrighted for having a clip of music, but let me just show you what I'm thinking about when it comes to the cast. Deliver us, hear our prayer. Deliver us from despair. These years of slavery grown too cruel to stand. Deliver us. There's a land you promised us. Deliver us from the bondage and deliver us to the promised land. Did y'all see that? Cause I saw people looking light as hell. And I thought that we were supposed to be in the motherland called Egypt. That's all I'm saying. And where is Egypt? On what continent? On what continent is Egypt on? The first thing I felt when I saw this trailer was, wow, the caucasity. Because I've been to England before and I know that there are a lot of dark skin and varieties of deep, darker complexions. You know what I mean? When I say that the Prince of Egypt should have a more diverse cast in terms of color. I don't only mean black people. I also mean like POCs, Middle Eastern people, like all encompassing that is not Caucasian. Okay, like let's let's think about Egypt and let's, you know, the thing is when I went to college, the way it also gets me tight is when, we, when I went to college, um, of course you don't have that much diversity when it comes to college, but it's like the way that they go in depth about oh the designs like we want to be respectful to the culture and all this stuff and then you see shit on broadway and then you're like okay like the one thing that y'all really could have done right was to actually cast people of color in the prince of egypt it's like seriously the caucasity i've been to england there are many shades of 
black and middle eastern people that they could have done a freaking better job of all of it there are so many complexions out there and they just chose not to in this small ass cast honestly i think it was looking at the trailer i think they were going for people like looking at the lighting it seems like they were going for like oh we want it to look like sand and the people to move like sand or something i don't know either way it's wrong it's done wrong they did a terrible job in casting they need to do better i'm sure that the actors are worth their salt and i'm sure that they're great i'm not putting this anything against the actors but this should have been the one time the Prince of Egypt should have been the one time that it should have been white actors fighting for affirmative action. It should have been tough to even be like, oh, we should, ooh, should we put a white person in the cast? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not like in other shows on Broadway that you watch and I'm looking like, where the black people at? Then I'm like, oh yeah, there's the one black person in the ensemble. And it's always like a, a dark skinned person in the ensemble, the one person. That's how it should have been for the Prince of Egypt. They should have just been that one white person. If a white person's like, where's my representation? That one white person right there. Because this is the Prince of Egypt. You know what? We didn't even have to add any of that. Any, any of that. We didn't have to do any of that. Because you want to know why? Because back in the day in Egypt, you would have seen some dark ass people in the time of Moses. So we don't even need a light skinned person out there. <sighs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. So I looked through the cast and I was like, okay, let me just double check who's in the cast in case I'm just being dramatic. Either way, I'm not being dramatic by how the people look in the show. I'm not being dramatic. Um, but I looked through the cast and I said, I said, what I see, like three black people? <laughs> like there may be some mixed people, but you know, I was like, I see three unambiguously black people out here what are y'all doing and there's a little even a little white boy i was like why are you stop it whose nephew is that whose nephew is that that's somebody's nephew because why is he there <laughs> yo honestly this is a video where i'm just like i don't care what anybody has to say like i'm standing firm in what i'm saying right now because this is this is messed up all i know is there is no way, and I said, no way, when I saw this trailer, no way we in Africa. No way, no way, in the BC, no way. Honestly, for this video, they really dragged this one for the Prince of Egypt. They really dragged this one, so I'm gonna drag this trailer. And even, even in the trailer, uh, I post, I commented under, the promo for the Prince of Egypt and I said what happened to the diversity in this one of course I didn't get a reply but I saw a black guy respond underneath me like oh why y'all trying to make it about color it was me and another girl they're like oh why you always trying to make it about color this that and the third it's like we're in Africa we're in Africa and white people got all these other shows and light-skinned people got all these other shows we're in Africa stop it this is the one time you should say, oh yeah, with, let's talk about diversity. Are you dumb? All I know is, if they're casting for the Prince of Egypt in New York City, if it makes it to New York City, y'all better do this right. Y'all better do this right. Y'all better do this right. Don't make me make another video. <laughs> Y'all better do this right. Or if I, and I want to audition. And if I audition and then I see the cast at the end of the day, when I see, if I see the cast on Broadway, I'd be like, oh, if they all like real light skin, I'm like, oh, New York, you should have known better. New Yorkers, you know better. Casting directors in New York, y'all know better. Don't do the same thing these people did. Don't do that. We just gotta, honestly, we just gotta make it to a point where it's just like, hey, do better, do better. But of course, it's not only gonna be on uh, black people's side for them to say, hey, uh, we're in Egypt and you're not casting correctly because if it comes from our mouths, it's just seen as complaining. We need like white people to step up and say, you know what, um, we're in Egypt and I don't think 
the, the, like, the casting director, and they were like, we're in Egypt. I don't think this is, this is not doing, feeling the vibe of Egypt, you know, back in the day. Before really colonialism and all that, so. You know? I can, like, <laughs> I can only imagine how, like, the black people in the cast that showed up when they saw each other, when they saw the rest of the cast, they were like... And you know, after after the show, they probably kiki like, yo, we don't need like three people here, you know that? And I thought this was supposed to be cast in Egypt. You know, whatever, we ain't gonna say nothing, because if we say something, then they're gonna retaliate, so. <sighs> Anyways, money is money, but you know, they will do what they gotta do. Whatever. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, uh, if you watch the trailer. I think that this is absurd. This is the one time they could have done things right and they chose not to. Um, if you like my hair, thank you to a regular that comes to my job. She tried this wig and she was like, it's not for me. She don't talk like that. And uh, she gave me this wig and I just like fix it up a little bit. But this is the best damn wig I ever had. And it's, you know, I've gotten so many compliments. So thank you, Patty. But yes, guys, let me know what you think about this let me know if prince of egypt was actually one of your childhood shows sorry movies because it was for me and joseph king of dreams and i wish that they did a lot more bible stories like this because the music was really great of course at the time the voiceover artists were white but i think if they did it now it would be a little, little different they still had they still had some really good vocals but you know what i'm saying like if it was a black person you know it'd be different it just, it, just is. it just is what it is. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And if not, I'll see you in the next one after that. And if not, then I'll see you when I see you. Maybe I'll see you on these New York City streets. Ooh, outro time. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. The Prince of Egypt at the West End had its final run on this past in this past January 2022. And uh, if it does get a revival on Broadway, I hope that there is some justice done. And I hope that you enjoyed the little bit of song that I did so I don't get a uh, copyright strike. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, thank you again. And I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.